Today we're going to be making the perfect bag to take on the go. Today we're going to be making the all access bag pattern, which is so fun. It's got this zipper and it opens up flat and has some great little pockets inside to store your goodies. I think it's a perfect little makeup bag or, you know, if you have cords and things for when you're traveling, you can tuck it all in here and then zip it up for on the go. So let me show you how we're gonna make this. You are going to need three fat quarters and I picked these beautiful prints from All That Wander by Juliana Tipton for Cloud9 Fabrics. They're just absolutely gorgeous. I love them so much. And so I use these butterflies for the outside of my bag. So to start, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about cutting because you do have quite a lot of cutting and that's gonna be your first step. So uh, you wanna get the pattern and go through that and cut out all of your pieces but essentially you're gonna get all that you need out of those three fat quarters. And so you can see here, there is also a template in the pattern. And when you are cutting out your background fabric, you're going to do that on the fold. So let's fold this in half, just like so. And then we're gonna take our template and the fold line is actually this interior line. So I'm gonna slide that down. And then I just wanna point out, you can see here, I have cut this out a quarter inch bigger than my template. And so for the exterior of the bag, that's what you're looking for. So you can go through and mark that, or you can just lay your ruler along the edge and cut it out a quarter inch larger than your template. So then once you've done that with your interfacing, I've gone ahead and already fused this here, but I want you guys to just see what I mean. It's the same idea, but we're gonna cut that exactly on the edge. And so again, lining it up on the fold line and it's just right along the edge and you can see where that interfacing has been fused onto the wrong side of the exterior of our bag and i am using shape flex which is an awesome uh, fusible interfacing it's just kind of a mid-weight and gives it some great stability so you can see i now have the exterior ready to go so let's move on to the interior panels so it's the same concept basically as the outside, except for we're going to have two halves as opposed to our solid piece. So here is my um, inside fabric. I use this pretty orange. And then we have our interfacing that's going to be a quarter inch smaller, but it's gonna match up on the fold line. So that measurement is gonna stay the same. So let's go ahead and take this and press it down. When you're working with Shape Flex, because it has that adhesive on it, sometimes it can uh, pull through when you're heating it with an iron. So you might wanna use a pressing cloth just so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and press it. I haven't had any trouble with it gumming up my iron, but you do want to be mindful of that. All right, so then you're just gonna repeat that with both of your inside panels. You can see that I have those ready to go here. And now we can start assembling some of the other little fun details in our bag. So up first, we're gonna make the pocket. So I have my navy zipper and then two rectangles from this accent fabric that I chose from this collection, which is so fun. And we are going to just press these in half, just like so. Make sure I've got this the right way, yes. The width should be the same. And let's go ahead and give this a nice solid press over here at the iron. There's one. And two. Okay, and so now we can just lay this right next to our zipper and we can sew down as close as we can. If you wanna switch out for a zipper foot, this would be the chance to do that. And we are just going to attach these to the top of our zipper. There's 
this one side, turn it around and go down the other side. So now if you need to, you can trim off the ends of your zipper. I'm just going to fold this right sides together, which remember the, this is our zipper head. So that's going to be the top of our zipper. I'm going to go ahead and open that up just a little bit. And then we're going to fold this so that the bottom edges line up. And then we are going to sew a quarter inch seam on both sides. Let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, this got off a little bit. So I'm just going to fix that real quick. There we go. I am watching because the stop of the zipper is on this end and you never want to sew over that because that's metal. So I'm making sure it's going to be on the seam side so I don't break my needle. There we go. Right. Now we can turn and do the same thing on this other side. Again, making sure that the bottom edge is lined up. If you need to use some clips or some pins here to keep everything squared away, you can totally do that. There we go. So now we can turn this right sides out. We have made our first little inside pocket. So let's give this a press so it will lay down nice and flat. And we're going to leave that bottom edge open for now. All right. Once we have that all flat, you'll notice that the bottom edge is open. That's how we want it. I'm just going to set this aside for now. And now we are going to come back to our outside. Remember, we've adhered that interfacing to the inside, the wrong side of the fabric. So now I'm just going to give this a little finger press to find the middle. And we are going to get ready to make the handle that is on the outside of our bag. And so let me show you what I've got here. This measures three by six and I have just folded the ends under a quarter of an inch and then folded those two halves in to themselves and pressed it in half and then stitched all the way around. So just very typical way to make a handle here. So now let's go ahead and mark where we're going to attach this on the outside of our bag. Let me get my ruler here and a marking pen. Here we go. Hopefully this one will show up well for you. I'll find a bright color. So the first step is we're going to find um, that center line that we marked and we're going to measure down two inches. And I'm just going to make a little dot right here. It's right on my butterfly wing I can see. And then we need to mark two inches out in both directions. So I've got a little mark here and here. There we go. I can see those two little dots. And now I'm going to center this up and I'm going to attach my handle right on those two little marks. So let's take this to the sewing machine. We will sew this down. Here is my first one. Be sure to back stitch. You want this to be pretty sturdy because it might take some wear. And we can turn this around, find that other mark. There we go. And stitch this side down. There we go. Now our little handle is added to the outside of our panel. All right, so next up, we're gonna move back to the inside. 
Remember, we've made our little pocket for one side and on the opposite side, let me show you in here again so you can see. Here's the pocket we made and on the opposite side we have this little mesh pocket. You could also make this out of vinyl. It mentions both options in the pattern, but I chose the mesh. I like that you can kind of see through it and I don't know, I just felt like it would look less dirty. So that's what we went with. And so this rectangle measures four by eight and all we're going to do is turn this under a half inch on all four sides. I like to start with the short sides and you can either clip or baste. I went ahead and just stitched this down. I found that I didn't mind stitching it twice. And so let's go ahead and take this to the machine and I will just run a line of stitching. It just disappears through this mesh. You can see can't even tell and so I'm not worried about having more than one line of stitching. So we'll do the same thing on the opposite end. And then you're just going to repeat that on the top and bottom side until it's all basted together. I went ahead and did that already so I have that here. And so you have a couple of options now. In the pattern, it instructs you how to install this pocket up here so that it will be on this kind of side panel of the bag. You can see here, I opted to put it down on the lower section. And so at this point, you wanna choose, do you want it to be centered down here in this lower section or here in the upper one? Either way is 100% okay. Um, and it kind of just gives you an opportunity to personalize this bag and make it your own. But you do want to make sure you're at least three quarters of an inch from either this top or bottom edge, whichever way you choose. And so I am just going to eyeball this and center it like so. And we are now going to stitch in kind of a U shape down and across and back up this other side. Let's go ahead and put a few pins just to secure this in place. We don't want it shifting when we take it to the sewing machine. There we go. So let's stitch it down. Again, I backstitched quite a bit here because I want to make sure that it's nice and secure. Pockets and things uh, like this get a lot of wear when we're making bags or when we're using our bags. So we want it to hold up. There we go. And one more along the top edge. There we go. All right, we can take those pins out. And we can move on to the next step. All right, so here is our one side panel with our mesh pocket, and we are going to sew all of these together. So here's the other half of our interior. Here is that little zipper pocket that we made, and I'm going to line this up and center it along the bottom edge of this panel that doesn't have the mesh pocket on it. I am going to grab a few clips. They are handy for this. And then we are going to turn this one right sides down and we're going to pin all of this together. So just to make sure that it doesn't shift and that we have everything lined up exactly how we need it. Just put a couple more in here. There we go. And now I'm going to sew right down this seam with a quarter inch seam along this edge. string off of there and now we can open this up and we can press it flat so that it lays nicely. There we go. 
So now I want to point out, you have a couple of options. You can leave this little pocket uh, loose, exactly like it is here, so that it has some versatility and it will just kind of fold around inside the bag once it's closed, or you can also secure it down. So in that case, we just top stitched, we turn this out right along this top edge, and that just keeps it from flopping around. So if that's gonna bother you, again, this is a way to personalize your bag and do as you see fit. On this one, I'm gonna leave it loose just so we can have some options and then we'll move on to assembling our bag. All right, so like I said, now we're gonna work on assembly. And so that means adding the zipper. So first up, we are going to find the center point again for the edges of our bag. And so I'm gonna press this in half, just finger press it. And then I'm gonna use my little chalk pencil and put a little center mark right there. I've already done the same on the opposite side. And then you're also going to mark the center of your zipper, which I have done here. So now let's begin by lining up the center of our zipper with that center point. And I am going to use my pins or clips to hold these in place. We will clip this all down. When you get to this point, it's really handy if you just snip the fabric of your zipper, just like so, and that will help it to curve around. So I'm gonna move this clip out a little bit, and that way it will just ease right down the side. There we go, that looks pretty good. We'll continue it this way. So again, we're gonna put a clip here on the outside edge. And then we're gonna snip a little bit of that fabric on the side of our zipper. And then just let that curve match up with our template that we cut out here. And continue down the side. just like so. All right, so now we are going to take the interior panel and I wanna make sure that this mesh pocket is on the opposite side of my handle, which it is, and we are gonna turn these right sides together and I'm gonna clip all of this together. Now, if this is too bulky for you, you could totally baste your zipper in place with a really narrow seam allowance and then come back and have that secure and add this separately but I think I can catch it all at once. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so now that we have all of those clips in place to make this easier on us, we are going to just sew with a quarter inch seam, which this is really handy because our um, interfacing is in a quarter of an inch. We can just kind of follow our needle right along that edge and we should be good to go. So just take your time here. I've just put a couple stitches to hold this all in place and now I'm just going to make my way around. I'm gonna keep my needle down there at that corner and just pivot. much easier on this long straight side. There we go. And back down this other end. we have the first half with the zipper attached which is what we're looking for so now I'm going to unzip this zipper
There we go. And we're going to repeat the exact same process on the other side. All right, so now I have turned this right sides out. I have my zipper all set in, and this would be the opportunity if you wanted to top stitch along that zipper edge, which gives it a beautiful professional finish and a little bit more stability, this would be the time to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and skip over that just for time, but I wanted to make sure you knew that that's where this step goes. So now we're gonna work on adding our zipper tabs. So that's these little guys right here on the bottom edge of the bag. So to do that, you're gonna need two two and a half inch squares. And I'm gonna begin by pressing the square in half, just like so. Oh, kind of rumpled on me there. And then we're gonna press each end of the fabric into that fold line. And the other side. And then now we can press that in half. And now I'm just going to run a line of stitches along this open end. There we go. And so now we can fold these in half. I have the other one all ready to go. And we need to find the center of our bag, these little side panels here. And so for me, I can feel the center seam on the inside. And so I just use that as my guide. So I'm just going to fold these here, line them up right over that center seam where I can feel it. And I'm just gonna put a little clip there to hold that in place for now and do the same thing on the other side. There we go. All right. So now we are going to finish off our side edges. So I have just zipped this zipper up just a little bit, just enough to get this to line up on this edge. And so you can see, I'm just kind of pinching this between my fingers here, making sure all of my layers are lining up. And I'm just gonna put a few more clips in here to secure this, just like so. I actually need to open that zipper just a little bit more to make sure it's out of my way when I'm stitching because we don't want to stitch over that metal zipper head. There we go. Looking good. All right. So now I'm just gonna double check, make sure this all looks secure. I know this little bit here can look a little bit uh, intimidating or tricky. And so you're just gonna wanna be really careful as you're sewing over your zipper. But I'm gonna take this to the sewing machine now and I'm gonna sew with a quarter inch seam straight down here. And we're gonna back stitch a few times over this zipper just to make sure that it's nice and secure because once we're done, we're gonna cut off the end. So let's go ahead and do that. Got a little narrow there, so I'm just gonna back up, do that seam again. There we go, much better. All right, now remember we're back stitching quite a few times over that zipper because this is gonna be the new stop that we're putting in place. We don't want that to come out. And then we're just gonna continue all the way down this side and backstitch at the end. There we go. One side is done. And so now we can come back and trim off this zipper. Just 
make sure before you cut anything that your zipper head is on the right side of your seam. We've all had those sad days, right? So now we can trim this off just like so. This half is done. And now we can turn this around. I'm going to zip it up a little bit, not all the way, but we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, so up next, we're going to make these little side panels, which create kind of the gusset of the bag and give it a little bit of stability when it's opened up. And so to do that, we're going to take our five and a half by eight inch uh, rectangles from our accent fabric. And I have cut out a piece of interfacing on the back of that as well. And we are going to fold that right sides together and we're going to sew a quarter inch on opposite sides here. So let's go ahead and do that. There's one side. We'll make sure this other one is lined up. Turn it around here. Go right down the other side. There we go. And now we can turn this right sides out. Just gonna flip that. I kind of use my nails to poke out those corners. Make sure they're nice and sharp. And then we can press this in half. There we go. And now you can see you're going to need two of them. Here's the other one ready to go. Just the same. And we are going to pin those from this side of our bag right across this bottom edge. The same seam where we added our zipper. So let's just go ahead and clip this into place. So I'm lining up this side here and then working our way across. And this is going to clean up and finish off this inside edge so we aren't dealing with these raw edges anymore. Just put a few clips in here. It also gives even more um, stability to the zipper because we're putting another row of stitching through there. And so now I've done the same thing. I went ahead and clipped both sides with those panels and we're just going to sew a quarter inch seam and secure these in place. If you need to do a little bit wider than a quarter just to really feel like it's secure, go ahead and do that. Just make sure that the zipper head is out of the way. You don't have anything that you're stitching over. Take your time, make sure you're not sewing over anything that you shouldn't be. There we go, we've got one side. So now actually what we're going to do is we're going to flip this up, kind of roll it around, and we're going to now top stitch on the opposite side here. So I'm just going to make sure I don't have any tucks. And this is going to encase those raw edges. One side done. We're going to go ahead and do that same thing on the other side. I think this is the trickiest part just because this is, you know, a little bit bulky while you're working on it. But it's not hard. You just need to take your time.
And again, we're going to flip that over and roll that back so that we can catch all of those raw edges in our seam. go you guys and so now we can flip this all right sides out the little side edges of those panels that we added you're gonna go through and you're gonna whip stitch those in place so you can see here this will just fold up and you'll just do some little whip stitching or you can machine stitch it it will just throw show through excuse me to the opposite side but then our bag is complete and we can zip it up it's got its little side tabs and it is ready to go. So here you can see the side panels sewed down with just that little whip stitch and it gives you this gusset and some shape when the bag is all open. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the all access bag and I'll see you next time on At Home. Hey everyone, it's Misty. Thanks for watching At Home. If you aren't already a part of our Missouri Star family, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you want a notification every time we release a new video. I'll see you next Monday on the newest episode of At Home.